Well, it was definitely a night to remember for the amateur singers who performed at the Coronation Concert last night at Windsor Castle. Black cabbies and members of the London Fire Brigade were amongst those who joined the 300-strong Coronation Choir on stage, conducted by Gareth Malone. They even got to sing with Take That. Asha Buck has been to speak to some of those who took part. He's a London cabbie by day and last night sang for the king. I often sing in the cab, obviously, and the bar to myself. That's about of my limitations. Tony Walker, along with fellow black cab driver Dale Forward, were part of the specially formed Coronation Choir, a 300-strong group made up of community choirs across the country, including NHS workers, LGBTQ plus groups, and the London Fire Brigade. We needed that after lockdown, didn't we? You know, the community spirit was there. And they were from all walks of life, you know, all ages, all nationalities, all genders, and they were just lovely. The best thing I would say is the 300 members came as strangers, and we all went away as friends. They'd spent weeks practicing among themselves, and the first time they came together was for a rehearsal in Windsor. To actually come here today and be part of it, it is beyond my wildest dreams, and I'm just overwhelmed with emotion, really. And last night they performed on stage and were part of the finale. What did it feel like to be on that stage? It was fantastic. It was amazing, you know, on the stage after all these famous singers and everything, but the whole choir, so, so much love, and we all got on. It was one of the most ex greatest experiences of my life. Tony and Dale say they want to keep singing, and their memories of the coronation will stay with them forever. Aisha Buksh, BBC well done, London. <laughs> Thank you. Simon Cow, eat your heart out. Yeah. <laughs> what an experience for them. Okay, with that, let's have a check on the weather with Elizabeth.